9-7-2024. We're in Methods of Attacking, Chapter 5, in The Way, Lao Tzu. Verse 4, Now the people cannot be in awe of two things at once. If they are in awe of you, then they will hold the enemy in contempt. And if they are, not, are awe of the enemy, they will hold you in contempt. Of the two, the one who is held in contempt will be defeated. And the one who establishes his, his authority will be victorious. In every case, the general who is capable of this Tao will be held in awe by his generals. Or, in every case, the general who is capable of this way will be held in awe by his generals. Remember, the Tao is the way. Like, this is the way, this is the Tao. Tao and way are interchangeable in all of the ancient Chinese texts. So, like, this is the way, this is the Tao. If the officials are in awe of their general, the people will be in awe of them, and the enemy in turn will be in awe of such a people. This is why, to understand the path of victory and defeat, you must first understand the measure of awe and contempt. 5. If a general does not inspire love, then he cannot make use of men. But if he does not inspire strictness and authority, he cannot mobilize men. If love exists amongst, amongst the ranks and authority is established among the superiors, then, as a result of the love, the army will be undivided. And as a result of authority, the army will not turn on its general. This is why being an adept general is nothing more than a matter of love and authority. And verse 6. If you do battle but are unsure of victory, then you cannot speak of doing battle. If you attack but are unsure of capturing your target, then you cannot speak of attacking. If this were not the case, then you may issue punishments and rewards. They will not be sufficient for you to be trusted. Trust stems from your past deeds, and the affairs that you are concerned with lie in the future. If you assemble your army, do not disband it without having used it. And if you set out with your army, then do not return home without some achievement. Seek your enemy with the urgency of a father seeking his lost son, and strike at them with the speed of one rescuing a drowning man. These are very deep, but it's like, if you're going to be a general, if you're going to be a leader, you're going to lead the army, you need to be doing it with the same sort of urgency of your lost son, which anybody would do. So when you're a general, you have to be ready to fight for everything.